I created some more plugins the other day specifically for nonfiction. I wanted to play around with the punchy author, Spiky POV from Matt Renitsky. If you don't have his punchy author accelerator program, I highly recommend it. I bought it a couple of years ago. Really loved how in depth and quite frankly, punchy, it helped me create my domestic abuse series. I was really stuck on fleshing that series out and it just didn't have that feel that I wanted to have. I wanted it to be more crass for lack of a better word. I was pissed at the world for not listening and Matt really helped me hone in on that anger and frustration and put that into my book. So I love him for that. Thank him every day for it. But I wanted to bring his ideals and methods into Sudorite plugins because I do like to do my nonfiction via first draft too. But with these, you actually create it just in the plugin. You don't need to use first draft or anything. As always, fact check and add in your own voice. Do your editing, add in your own words, your personal stories and all of that outside of the AI. But I did have this link or this document that I will put in the description with all of the different plugins I'm gonna show you. It's really just one in each. So it's the different stages right here that work together. But another friend that writes nonfiction, she wanted me to do some balanced versions. I think I thought I had done a balanced chapter writer, but I will get that done. So I'll create a balanced version here and link it as well. So Goliath has been my favorite for the spiky POV, but as usual with Goliath's output, it's short and the third idea currently gets cut off. So I am gonna change that so it only gives me two ideas. So be aware, you'll see. As I demonstrate, it's likely going to give three ideas that will go down to two to try to avoid that cutoff. But you would pick one from here, then another for the next step. I was sticking with 60K, but again, she liked balanced. And then I did put which one I preferred for the different stages. So I'll have this document linked in the description. Let's jump over to the document I was working on. I will show you how I started it. I typed this out and highlighted it and ran the Goliath Spiky Ideas, and it gave me these right here. Ran it again. So you'll see those. And then, of course, copying it over and highlighting and continuing that. For this demonstration, I actually just want to do no ideas. And let's see. I'm not going to type any here, or I guess you could say, if you want to narrow it down, any personal development or any religious book. Let's try that as a matter of fact. Go with religious. Any religious topic. And then we'll, we'll do any topic. And as I mentioned, I do like Goliath. So I'm going to go with it. I've been a little slow. A deconstruction of divinity, reevaluating the existence of God, holy contradictions, reexamining scripture. And let's see, no, it's stopped. So, yeah, I will be definitely going down to two to try to avoid this more. And as I mentioned in another video, I have asked them to look into this because Goliath really does come up with some unique ideas. But again, that output, it just always gets cut off. Now I'm going to just leave it blank and run Goliath. And it goes straight to AI. He just said AI's hidden agenda. Hidden history of alien intervention. The new world order illusion. I've actually been hearing a lot on this. God, I wish it had finished. This is what's so frustrating. It comes out with some good stuff, and typically the third one is the one I like the most. It didn't finish, so I do like this one. I wish I could continue. I actually wonder if I click right. Let's see what happens here. Go to Goliath. Okay. 
drop down one card. One pick. Let's just see what happens right here. And it works. How about that? I didn't read it. Obviously, you will want to read it. But just to proceed to the next step. So now I will highlight all of this and go to the premise and outliner. Let's find it. Our never ending list. So we got 3.5 and balanced. Let's see what they both do. Let's see if there's a preference here. The preference is definitely not that. And so this is 3.5, 16K. Let's add. So obviously I would need to sit down and compare this to the next one. But let's do the balanced version. And for quick reference, I'm going to look. Stroke is in adversity section. So feeling confused, overwhelmed by the multitude, multitude of conspiracy theories. Struggling to distinguish between genuine and baseless specula speculations. Oh, sorry, I can't talk this morning. I don't think that's anything new for y'all, though. Lack of clarity. Okay. Oh, this one. Okay, so balanced. Ignored the initial thing that it's supposed to do. I'm going to run it a second time. I gave 16K a second chance to get it right. So it's doing the description like it's supposed to. So we gave two per chapter. Whereas 16K gave us three key points. However, I am liking the book description better of the balanced version. So I'm going to give balance one more chance though to see if it gives that other section right. I don't know about y'all, but my eyes start to crawl so I go through this list and scroll. Yep, no. Balance for whatever reason is not giving this initial output right here. I don't know why. I would need to check into that. So for right now, I would recommend the 3.5 16K version. And this time it is giving three per chapter, or at least for some of them. I may do a separate one, nonfiction book description, plug in using balance, because I am liking what it comes up with there. All right, so moving along, though, I'm going to grab the 16K version of the outline. You could do it in a new document. It's no big deal. All right, so I copied the outline. So now, obviously, again, go through, make changes, add in, remove, do whatever you need to. But let's just say I'm ready to start writing. What I can do is copy this and then go to the chapter writer version. And I am really liking Sonnet. I have the chapter one stuff highlighted. We find the Sonnet. Country book writer, Sonnet version. And it will say 4,000 word chapter. It does not even do close to that. It was at a thousand something words. I changed something up and it dropped down to 400. Like it was mad at me for trying to make it do more. Okay, so it gives the quote at the beginning and then it starts going into the chapter.
I'm just letting it go to see how much it actually does. Well, it's still going, so maybe we're back at the 1,000 mark. So I did start off with using the 3.5 version of the chapter writer, but I really liked how Sonnet kicked off the chapters. To me, it just really dove into a question or a statement that stopped and made you think. So it gave almost 2,000 words, so good it's back to getting up there at least. It was really mad at me for trying to make it do more and gave 400-something words forever. And of course, I would just continue that pattern. I did try to like copy this over and make it continue. It wasn't bad, but it, I can't say that it necessarily continued either. It was more like almost a rewrite sort of. Wasn't repeating, but almost like it did the previous chapter over with some new kind of topics. But that is something you can do. So I could copy this and then also highlight chapter two. And then let it go. Play around with it. See what you prefer. For now, I am mixing what I used to show y'all to do with first draft stuff. So I will copy this output into a document. Force edit. And then what I can do is go through and start using the expand feature on the paragraphs that I want to expand. And then once I've done all that, take it out of the program and start really refining it and making it my story. So that is how you can use those plugins. Again, there's the spiky POV to get your initial idea. There's the premise and outline to get that. And then there is the book writer sonnet and the GPT 16K version. And I will do a balanced version for the chapter writer as well. Get it linked here in this document so that y'all have that when it's posted. All right, everybody. I hope y'all have fun playing with these and I hope it helps get your nonfiction book done. Thank you for watching. Bye.